Today we're going to be creating a line sculpture. Last time we made a drawing that had lots of lines on it. That's going to be the base of our sculpture. You're also going to get some lines here that we're going to turn 3D. 3D means that it is has some length, width, but also height, so it comes up off the paper. So you're gonna pick one of your strips and you're gonna fold over the ends. Okay, you've gotta press on that edge, give it a good massage. Do the other side and massage. Okay, so there's kind of two ends here. If I kind of push them together, then you can see, I like to call these the feet. And so you can see his legs are walking. He can walk. When you're using glue, remember not to wheel it up high. He just ne needs to barely peek out. And we're gonna give him sticky feet. So if he walks like this, I need to put them at the bottom of his feet. All right, he's got sticky feet. And now I'm gonna put his sticky feet somewhere on my paper, okay? And they can easily pop up. So I need to give it a good massage, give it a little foot rub, a little foot massage. Now that's one line. You can see it's a sculpture. It comes up off the paper. Let's try that again. I'm going to fold the ends and give him some feet to massage at the folds. Check, can he walk? and give him sticky feet. Sticky feet, sticky feet. Okay, then he can go, I can set him somewhere else on the paper. I could set him partly on top of my other line. I'm gonna massage his feet, give a good foot rub. If you get pretty good at that, you could try a zigzag. So a zigzag, I'm going to fold just like I was with his feet, but then I'm gonna flip and fold, flip and fold, flip and fold, flip. And now I have a zigzag line. Okay, I'm gonna find two feet to make sure he can walk. And I'm still gonna give him sticky feet. Okay, and now he's gonna walk where I want him to his paper and massage those feet. 